Hey, what's up everyone? I want to thank several people for this video. First, for the, uh, the content that you see right here was in a video that was posted by Mr. MB... Let's see, I think his name is Mr. M... The storm is... There's still a lot of lightning, so it might interfere with what I'm doing. Lightning and thunder. But Mr. MBB333. That's the YouTuber. And Rowdy One is the name of the YouTuber who pointed this video out to me. And I thank her for that. Now, I want to make some things clear that I'm not exactly... I'm not a... Uh, I don't define myself as a flat earther for sure. I mean, I know various people have different arguments. I think maybe that all of this argument that's going out right now is meant to separate us, meant to create a separation of argument between us right now. So, so I mean, I just want to get that out of the way that I don't subscribe to one theory on this. Now, when you look up in the sky, if you look up in a telescope or whatever, you look at the planets, they're round, obviously. And logic would tell you, so are we. But my point is that they uh, that I'm not getting into arguments with people about what they feel or what they think. And I also don't subscribe to saying, okay, hey, we're all hollow. All of the earth is hollow. I don't say that either. I mean, I know that in my last video, I might have sounded like that I stated that or whatever, but that's not what I was really stating. And I know uh, that Rowdy one pointed out that you know, we're not hollow because of the gravity, obviously. I mean, obviously, I get that, and I thank her for pointing that out, because, I mean, it made me want to point out the fact that I don't really feel that way, that we're all, that we're all hollow. I mean, that, I mean, that the Earth is hollow. Because, I mean, as a child, I always studied all of this stuff, and I felt this way, and I felt connected without there, and a, a very deep connection that I can't even describe to you all so first I always uh, from what I always took of it there is uh, there's a magnetosphere that's more alerts weather alerts probably from Twitter I'm gonna check them I'm gonna go ahead and check them just to make sure okay just uh, still some rain happening throughout the night but okay so I don't subscribe to that particular theory or either of those theories. I just want to go ahead and state that. Now, I do believe there could be parts of the Earth in on the inside, hollow. There are beings that seem to come from inside the Earth, a lot of times negative beings and things like that. But And the, the Bible states that giants are held in four giants in the Euphrates River, four angels that are released. They are bound and they're released. So that would imply that there is a spot that they are bound under the Euphrates River. Um to, uh, you know, slay one-third of men or something like that, of humans. And uh, the earth, one-third of the earth. So, that also makes me think that some parts of the earth do house beings, like large beings, like giants. And, well... So I don't really subscribe to those theories, but I just I've always been uh, I've always been fascinated with space astronomy, and obviously you know there are planetary alignments and they do affect us. And right now all of the planets are on one side of the sun and the solar system, like this particular YouTuber who I'll post the link to the video in the description below stated, like he stated. And it does have an effect on us. It does have an effect on what takes place in this world. Kind of like he stated here, that um, in the very beginning of this video, he showed that 14 million trees have been destroyed. Fort Italian Storm claimed that four, uh, 17, 17 people and destroyed 14 million trees. Now, that that's not a regular storm. When you have 14 million trees destroyed, that's obviously something more is going on than just... A regular storm but the youtuber you see in the bottom right there who I mentioned mentioned earlier I thank him for making his videos and rowdy one for giving me the link so thank you rowdy one for the link to the video so my uh, 
my train of thought just went off, but yeah, there's so much, just so much distraction. There's so much distraction. There's so many distractions that take place. So maybe that's just part of the distraction, trying to make us divide and separate on, on what is really what true, what's true, what we what we look like, yada yada, so on and so forth. But I always felt as a child, you know, I studied astronomy and everything that when there was planetary alignments that that things would happen and I felt these things and pl certain planets would be certain ways and I felt it so I know they're there and I know it's real that's for sure and that we have this magnetosphere that is generated from the earth's core that gravity does generate somehow or other this energy is generated and uh, this force that protects us from they say protects us from the uh, coronal mass ejections of the uh, highly charged particles and energy that come from the sun they say that that protects us from those those blasts and the magnetosphere it creates these beautiful lights in the aurora borealis, known as the northern and southern. Sometimes gets the southern area, sometimes gets a few of them. The northern lights mostly, and it creates this beautiful display of light. So we know, I know that there is definitely that you know space is real. Obviously, wow, there was a lot of lightning outside. That was super bright. That'll probably be a lot of a lot of thunder there. But anyway. I mean that's all I want to state is that I don't subscribe to those theories. That I believe we're round. And if you have a different theory, that's fine. Let me know and let me know why. But I don't subscribe to the hollow earth either or the flat earth, but or I mean you know, some people mention a dome. I mean, maybe there is, it's, but maybe there's a protection around us of some sort that's like, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know because I don't, I can't say because I haven't been there, I haven't seen it, I haven't, I can't just go up there and look and see, but I know what we see with telescopes shows us round. I mean, shows us we see round out there. I mean, the planets, and all the planets are on one side, I mean, right now, so that's kind of interesting. So, anyway, yes, I do likely believe that we're round. That's not a debate on that. That's not what I'm saying. And uh, that the gravity holds us in just like uh, round, uh, round, just like Rowdy once said, that, you know, we're held together by that gravity. And there's no doubt about that. So... I'm just saying there's so much debate out there. I would like, I would just like one, I would like an explanation as to what you think and give the, give the information on your reasoning so that I can look into it some more. And that's all I'm stating. But yeah. I believe we're round. That's the most logical reasoning, really, that we're round. But I was just asking what the firmaments meant and what the separation of the firmaments went, meant and all of that. And I got some interesting answers, and I'll check them out as soon as possible. So, the waters above, waters from below, and all that, what that meant. Just give me some information on what, what you think it meant. So, let me know. Peace. Much love. I'm not getting into a debate here or anything like that, because... Obviously, we seem round, and that's that's there's no debate there on, on that for me. I'm not going into that. I'm still learning. I'm still figuring things out in, a, in this awakening process. But it's interesting that all the planets are on one side. And let me know what you think about those 14 million trees. And the YouTuber, I'll post the link to his video below. I thank him for doing that video. And I thank Rowdy One, the YouTuber Rowdy One, for commenting and leaving the uh, the link to that video to me for me to see. So that's that's very interesting. 14 million trees destroyed. That's more than just a normal storm right there. Much love and peace. Bye.